Hi and welcome to Todex, the non-stop e-commerce platform providing integrated websites that work for your business. Today we'll be looking at the changes we've made to the Todex e-commerce platform within the 16.1 release, offering three new features, 14 improvements and three bug fixes. In the 16.1 release we added two new product deal offer types that allow products to be discounted when the combined quantity of a selected range of products has been added to the basket. The second deal offer type allows a selected range of products to be also discounted when they belong to the same parent combination product, such as if users are buying a collection of t-shirts in different sizes. These two new offer types help reward users to purchase more quantity of a selected range of targeted products by providing an advanced form of volume discounts, which may help lead to increased sales. In the platform 16.1 release, we added a number of new capabilities to allow lists of users to receive emails, notifying them when certain products are back in stock, based on the products they have been actively watching in their favorites list. This allows a customer to receive alerts when products are back in stock, propelling existing users to a turn, purchase the products they're watching, which may lead to increased sales. In the 16.1 Todex platform we released, we added additional capabilities for emails being sent out of the platform on behalf of businesses to not be identified as spam when received by the incoming mail servers. This is done by allowing DKIM information to be included within the email data. This removes the need to rely upon third-party email providers and allows emails to be identified as coming from a safe sender across any kinds of email domains being used in the from address of the emails. In the 16.1 platform release, we've added the ability to profile the load times of aspects of a content managed web page on the server. This may help identify areas on the web page which may be causing to take longer to load and return the web page, allowing areas to be optimized or removed that are not required and ultimately helping speed up the page load times. Additionally, for content managed web page areas, we've added new caching mechanisms to the areas that allow the area's content to be stored in the backend database between user sessions, which can dramatically speed up the load times of web pages. This is particularly useful for guest users and search engines, where the data doesn't change that often between user sessions. We've put in caching time mechanisms so that way the content of the area can be stored and cached in the backend and it can be rapidly retrieved, which allows the increased speed up times. This may help web pages load two to five times faster depending on how the web pages are configured. In the 16.1 Todex platform release, for content managed web pages, we've added a new shopping list product quick add form area that allows users to quickly add products to their shopping list when they know the products that they are looking for. Additionally, in the product quick add form areas, we now have it automatically select the product if only one can be found, and that matches the search text given. This can help users add products to their basket or shopping list faster. In the user details, favorites and orders content managed web page area, now supports showing the addresses associated to the account that the user is currently using. This allows them to find out address information about the account that they could only previously find in the order checkout process. This is particularly helpful for sales representatives and purchasing staff working across a range of accounts. For content managed websites, we've added two new capabilities to help search engines rank pages better. One is allowing canonical links to be embedded within the web page. This is useful when a web page may have two different URLs pointing to the same page, and so that the canonical links can advise the search engines to treat both URLs as the same web page, allowing better page ranking to occur. Within the product detail content managed web page area, hooks can now be set that allow search engines such as Google to get the retail pricing and stock level data that may be used by the Google shopping crawler to help promote the page within Google's shopping search feature. This may provide an additional lead generator tool to help users find products and navigate to your website, which may lead to more sales. And lastly, we've added a new text file data import to the administration center to import lists of sales representative records via CSV spreadsheet file, as well as the ability to update and change codes of existing products, customer accounts, and categories using their respective text file data imports. This is important when switching over between backend systems and the links to the records in those systems need to be changed to ensure that the data synchronizes correctly or when codes are being superseded by newer codes. Now, if that's not enough, there's a whole bunch of small improvements not featured in the release videos that can be found by going to the Totex website, clicking on the help menu and going into the forums, then going down into the releases forum, clicking on the Totex platform release 16.1, then allows you to view all the details of the changes we made during that release. 
Additionally, on the Totex YouTube channel, we have now created a playlist that contains the details of each individual feature and enhancement we've added to the release, where then you can navigate and go in depth of all the changes we made to those particular features on a video by video basis. If you want to be notified as soon as we release each of these videos, click the subscribe button, click on the video link here to see the in depth detail of the changes we've made in the 16.1 release and find all the key information about how to leverage the Todex e-commerce platform.